Welcome back, my name is Benji. Today I want to welcome you to Pro Cycling Manager 2021 once again for Milano Sanremo with one of my favorite riders in real life, which is Alex Aramburu. I don't know why I like the guy, but ever since the Vuelta 20, I think 19, when he got all those second places, I've been a pretty big fan of the guy. And when it comes to his stats, he has 77 hill, 75 acceleration, and 71 sprint. If we can try and put some pressure on the Pajo, we should be able to kind of lower the amount of people that have a decent sprint in the front group, hopefully. And if that's the case, come on, we got to win this. I'm actually not going to torture anyone in my team to go into the breakaway for 300 kilometers. So I'm going to put my team near the front and actually just rest for the majority of the stage. Holy crap! My team's in shambles. Minus four on Severo, minus two on Fedorov, minus one on Freyla, Sanchez, Aramburu, and Peronsky, and a minus two on Hull. That is... Uh, Horrendous. At least Adam Budu has a plus on his sprint acceleration. That's uh, one positive. Parkour-wise, we all know how this race works, really. We've got the Turquino that we just went over in the middle of the race. That won't matter at all. Then we've got these small capos before we get to the Cipresa. And then finally, the Poggio in the final 10 kilometers. Let's try and get some water between these two capos, which is about the most dangerous thing you could do in Milano San Remo with Bronski. We just did the Capo Mele now on the Servo. And lastly, we've got the Berta coming in a few kilometers. Hopefully, I can get the water to the front before the Berta. Get the water to the front, my man. Now he's going to sprint that gap. Oh, no, 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 no. Hopefully, he can get to the front really easily. But, nah. Our water is fucked, mate. <laughs> I'm going to have to retry that. Perhaps after the Berta. I'm hoping that our team is able to relatively stay at the front of the group here. Aramburu. Having a bit of trouble when it comes to the uh, spendage. Let's up it towards 80, 83 though. Because I want to move up in the group. Because splits can open up. And I don't want that just ahead of the Cipresa. Positioning a ski in Milano San Remo. And that's also in Pro Cycling Manager. Come on Pronsky. Now he doesn't have water anymore. But it's the only thing I needed. Ah, Okay I've set up a four man train. Hul, Sanchez, Freile and also Aramburu. Let's switch that around a tiny bit. Looks like Freyla just got water, but I don't know how. Bronski! Bronski did it! Bronski got the water to the front! My man! Oh my god, I didn't see it! What a legend! I don't even know how! He didn't even go back to the back of the peloton! Nonetheless, we are ready for the Cipresa thanks to Vadim, the legend Bronski. And the tempo is going up magically right now, so let's up it to 85 so that we can follow with our four-man train. The rest of the team, let's try and, uh, well... They're gone anyway, so no need to look after them. Four men left in our team, and we're looking pretty good right now. Gaps might open up here, but I don't think this 10-man group will ride away on the Cipressa. That's a bit early to do so, even on Pro Cycling Manager. Vanderpool on the right here. If we eye him, then we should be uh, doing pretty well. He's one of the uh, favorites of this race, of course, together with Wout van Aert, who is currently nowhere to be seen. On the right bottom, there we go. Hugo Ull is doing great work for the Astana train right now. There we go, we're topping, and this means that we can lower the tempo again and recover as much energy as possible in the descent of the Cipressa, because apparently nobody else is looking to do something on the Cipressa. They just tried and forced the tempo, and then at the top they said, nope, not doing this anymore. So uh, I guess it's good for us. We can recover, which is highly necessary. Looks like Rupama setting up things for Demar on the left. He's looking good still. We've got Ewan still in here, Nizolo. The real sprinters are here still. Looks like Ackermann is protecting Sagan, which means that Sagan's going to be the man they're going for. Miss Pedersen in that wheel, also looking for a victory here, I think. We're now pacing 68, and the Pajo is about to begin in 3 kilometers. Let's get ready. Hugo Ull with the energy gel, and hopefully we can smash our pedals on top. Martin in the wheel of basically Roglic, who's pacing just before the Pajo. I'd love to move forward, 85 with Hugo Ull, perhaps on the right so that we don't get blocked by Tony Martin. And hopefully, we can now put up a tempo that is very strong. Bronski is helping out the team. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go 99 on Hugo Ull. I'm going to try and get rid of Bronski so he doesn't block anyone. Come on, come on, come on. This is good, this is good, this is good. We're setting up a great tempo right now. Hopefully, I can make the move with Freyla on top here in a second with our descending skill. Let's go 99 right now. There we go. Hugo Ull is done for. He's going to go down towards 70. 
Adam Buru still in the wheel. Sanchez looking good as well. Ideally, I did it the other way around, though. Ooh, that's a bummer. I'm going to try and take over right now with Sanchez. I'm going to use Fraile in the wheel of Adam Buru because if I can keep that lead out with us, then it's going to be perfect. There we go. Ideally, I, I lose the gap. Let's try that. Let's wait with Fraile. Is Roglic going to close it down? I think he is. Not really. Kwiatkowski is going to try and close it down. Come on, come on, come on. I should be using Aramburu in the descent, though. I think it's a bit too late for that. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Hopefully, we can get that gap open, but it doesn't look like it's happening. Kwiatkowski is too good of a descender to make that happen. And we are now trying to get a good lead out going. Freile. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. Van der Poel is going to try and close that. Van der Poel is going to try and close that. I forgot every single energy gel in this damn game since I have this game. Let's start our sprint with Sanchez. Come on, come on, come on. Final kilometer, final kilometer. Aramburu versus Drest. Aramburu versus Ackerman. Aramburu versus Ackerman. Come on, Aramburu. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Come on. <laughs> Alex Aramburu wins. Milano San Remo, pro cycling manager. We did it. We bloody well did it. It was really close in the end, but Sanchez, what a powerful move. Opening the gap with Freyla as well. Tactics were perfect on this one. Akeman and Kwiatkowski were not strong enough to beat us, and the others were just in the group of Roglic, who was sitting up. Wow. Sports is going to have such a huge moment talking about Roglic not pacing for Wout van Aert there. Now that's what we're talking about. Really enjoyed that one very, very much. Aaron Brew and Sanchez, golden duo here, and Kwiatkowski just come short after... Marking us in the descent, very clever by Ineos, but we were too strong. In the end, I really enjoyed that. The Poggio and PCM is still very fun to ride, and it does offer many opportunities. If you've got a rider with a bit of a descending skill, you can play the descent tactical, stuff like that. Today, we had a bit of both. Sanchez wasn't the best descender. I wasn't in a good position with Arambru in that descent because he was in second wheel, not first, and switching around would have been costly to that. So I decided to go all out for the sprint afterwards against Kwiatkowski and... It turned out very well. Ackermann looked to be strong in the end, but wasn't strong enough as Alex Aramburu is the new victor of the Primavera. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that just as much as I did. If you did, tap that like button. If you didn't tell me what's wrong, I'll try and make it better for you next time. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.